if you ever laugh as the hearse goes by, or you may be the next to die. And I'll wrap you in a big white sheet from your head down to your feet. The night is dark. The ground is cold. And they'll drop you in a deep, dark hole. They'll cover you with dirt and rock. And soon your body begins to rot. The worms crawl in, the worms crawl out, the worms play pinnacle on your snout. They eat your eyes and eat your nose, and then they eat the jelly between your toes. A big yellow snake with rolling eyes crawls in your stomach and out your eyes. Your stomach turns to a slimy green and pus runs out like whipping cream. You spread that on a piece of toast. That's what you eat when you're a ghost. <laughs> That's a good sheriff. Afraid I've uh, created a little problem for you. One of your old friends walked away uh, late this afternoon. Dan Markham. Of course I remember. I have his records right here in front of me. 
Well, model prisoner for 10 years. Guess we got a little careless with this one. Well, we can't lock them up and throw away the keys anymore. No, no weapons. I agree. If he's not apprehended at once, someone will bleed tonight for sure. <sighs> Must have been 50 years old. Can you imagine? <laughs> Is it always this dead around here? I can't believe it. Doesn't the excitement just kill you? Guys from the state hospital create most of our excitement around the 10th and 25th. All the loonies come in here? I was referring to the staff and attendants. You ladies are a week early. <laughs> We're usually a week late. Bet that scares you. I think we got a couple of disappointed customers, Henry. Oh, how so? No action. Oh, gee, that's a shame. You know, girls are a lot prettier today than when I was a kid. You're still a kid, Henry. Oh, yeah? Well, why don't you tell me that first thing in the morning? Thanks, <laughs> but no thanks. <laughs> hey, Amy. Talking about action. How's things with you and Ralph, huh? Any fireworks going on? How do you mean fireworks? Well, I mean, has he gotten his Roman candles into the air lately? <laughs> Henry, that's none of your damn business. You certainly know how to be crude. Crude? I wasn't being crude. Crude is when you belch in church. I was simply being rude. But <laughs> <laughs> so you're still living with a father, huh? That's the problem. The old man still grieves over the fact that his son was a POW. Well, he came home. That'll account for something. I think his dad would have preferred a dead hero. Oh, come on, come on, come on. You're being a little tough on that old man, aren't you? I don't know why it's so damn important for an adult to have their parents' acceptance anyway. I think Ralph's still waiting for someone to strike up the band and welcome him home. She's at Vietnam. That was a long time ago. It's amazing it takes such a long time to get it out of your system. Do you, do you ever get the smell of burning children out of your system? May lie? Ralph, was it may lie? Physically, no. Mentally, yes. The Kong were experts at screwing up your mind. They had him convinced he used flamethrowers on the kids in the village. Oh. Talk about your guilt trips. That must be the ultimate, huh? When he wakes up screaming in the middle of the night, I can almost smell the smoke on his body. Oh, man. <sighs> Why am I spilling my guts to you, Henry? What's a bartender for? Well, somehow, I feel if I could just get him away from his dad, he'd be okay. But on the wages you pay, we can't afford to move. <laughs> Touché, pussycat. <laughs> Something else out here. This is bad. Hurry back, girls. Don't wait up for us. Yeah, you can start the party now that we're leaving. <laughs> Hey, Amy, listen, I, uh, I might have an idea. What do you know about old Doc over there? Seven up and four roses, what's to know? Well, for openers, I'll bet you didn't know he used to be a preacher. I thought he was somebody over at the courthouse and like the county coroner. <laughs> hey, Doc, Doc, come on over. Mosey up to the bar and be sociable. Sorry, Henry. I hadn't noticed I was your last customer. I guess you want to close up early tonight. Oh, uh, not on your life. What if some poor soul came staggering up to the door and found the clothes, huh? <laughs> Besides, if I went home early, I'd just be giving you all kinds of extra business. My son would shoot me dead if I walked in on him and his new girlfriend, you know what I mean? <laughs> like father, like son. 
<laughs> Besides, it's time the house bought you a drink anyway. Name your poison. Poison's probably the right word for it. Uh, I, I should be going. Oh, come on, come on, Doc. It might be dead, but the night's still young. <laughs> Go, Doc. Thanks, Henry. To your health, young lady. And to yours, Henry. Yeah, thanks. You know Amy here, don't you? My favorite employee. His only employee. Oh, yes. How are you tonight, my dear? Fine. Certainly not overworked. I was just telling Amy that you used to be a preacher. Uh, which is right, Doc? Preacher, minister, what? Oh, whatever makes you happy, Henry. That's a part of my life I've left pretty far behind. Yeah. I guess that old church of yours has been more or less vacant for the last... What, 10, 12 years? Oh, more or less. Why do you bring it up? Well, there was this artist type, uh, Nick, Nick, um... Martinelli. That's it? Used to come in here occasionally, Amy. Weird little guy. He was your, uh, maintenance man, caretaker, something like that? I haven't seen him in three or four months. He doesn't live there anymore, huh? What are you getting at, Henry? Do you know something I should know? Amy here and her husband, they're living with his father, and it's driving them absolutely crazy, and they gotta get out of there. Well, I thought you got this great big building, and you need somebody to keep an eye on it, so I thought perhaps this would be a, a workable kind of an arrangement. You know? Caretaker of an old church? My kids would love that, I think. I'm sure they would, my dear, and the old place would love to hear the laughter of happy children again. How many children do you have, Amy? Three, counting my husband. Just kidding. Ralph's a great guy. We live with his dad. It's time we got out from under. I think I know what you mean. In-laws can be a problem. What kind of work does your husband do? Oh, Amy's husband's a former serviceman, Doc. Vietnam. He was a POW. Listen, Amy, why don't you get on the phone and call Ralph and bring him on down? Maybe Doc will show you the nice place tonight. Tonight? I'm sure Doc has to go to work in the morning. Besides, I don't get off till after midnight. Oh, you think I can't handle this crowd? <laughs> How about a Doc? You want to show off the place tonight? It's all right with me. I'll be okay. What do you say, young lady? You want to strike while the iron's hot? Well, I guess I'm not needed around here. You said living quarters. Does it have furniture? Matter of fact, I lived there for a few months myself. You'll probably have to move in a couple of beds for the children, but otherwise you should be okay. The price is right, Amy. Besides, I'd like to have the place lived in rent-free rather than have the old place stay vacant. Well, give me half an hour. I'll drive out and get Ralph. I want him to see it. Sounds great to me. I'll see you in a half an hour. It's at the corner of 9th and Roseway. Terrific, Doc. We'll be there. down shortly. That was your mom. Car won't start. She, she's off early. Is mom okay? Guess so. Hey, what about it, Pop? Uh, can I use the station wagon? Dad. Oh, you, uh, you stay here and see that your brother gets to bed.
stupid dinosaur ran over me. Well, you stepped in front of my car. Are you sure of that? Help me to my feet. You shouldn't be moved. Are you gonna help me, you son of a... <laughs> Why did you do this to me? I was on my way home. To my wife and kids. Look, you're staying put. I'll go for help. You leave me here to die and I'll have your ass in hell. Now you can be up. You're taking me home. <laughs> Backseat, I'll stretch out. Hey, uh, where do you live? Just drive. I'll let you know when we're home. <laughs> Talk to me. I need some directions. Hey. Hey. Are you okay? Hey. Hey, you asked me to take you home, remember? Oh, God. Listen, you can't die on me like this, you bastard. You just can't. We'd have to get it up to 50 miles an hour. You've, uh, you've got an automatic transmission. You're kidding. No. Get in and uh, we'll start it tomorrow. Oh. I, uh, why are you off work so early? 
A surprise. I've got something to show you. So, uh, show me. Let me hold your hand for a minute. You mean know, I drove all the way down here just to hold hands? No. Let's go. Well, what do you think? church and it's not sunday so why are we here it's vacant they need someone to live in it how much do they pay no one mentioned pay i thought free rent was a good deal <laughs> yeah well, they'd have to pay me to live in a church. It's not a job. It's a place to live. You're not serious. Ralph, honey, things are not working out with your dad. We should at least look at this. Okay. We've looked. May we go now? Inside. I'd like to see it, please. Tonight, Han. Just how are we supposed to get in there? Well, the former minister has the keys. He's going to meet us here. Well, then why doesn't he live here? Well, he's the county coroner now. Coroners don't live in churches. Well, just what in the hell are you trying to pull? Ralph, we are going to look at this. Please don't make a scene, okay, babe? Hello again, Amy. Dr. Nelson, I'd like you to meet my husband, Ralph Jessup. Yeah, I'm glad to meet you, Ralph. Your wife has said an awful lot of nice things about you. Is that so? Yes, so you're a veteran. I believe most of us are. What about you? Yes, chaplain, 2nd Infantry Division. Shall we go in? I guess you uh, guys saw some real action. Yes, let's go. Hey, look, Reverend, I, uh, I hope we're not imposing. We can always come back tomorrow. You're not imposing, son. We're here. Come on in. This was the congregation area of the chapel. Could be a wonderful space for your children. Ralph could build a ping pong table or a couple of games of some sort. It'll be nice, won't it, Ralph? Yeah, I suppose. Tell me, uh, why did you close it down, Reverend? Did someone chase away your business? You might say that. Actually, the neighborhood grew old. The young families moved to newer areas, subdivisions. My friends call me Doc. Well, Doc, so this is it, huh? Oh, no. You haven't seen anything yet. OK, Doc. Lead the way. This room upstairs makes a lovely bedroom. Church records are in here. And this is the kitchen. Everything works. I'm not overly familiar with churches, Doc. Did you put the bars up to keep the congregation from escaping or what? They were put in place after the congregation left, Ralph. And only on the windows that were susceptible to break in. I was a little paranoid about vandalism. No kidding. Have you had any problems? None. There's a lovely room downstairs. I think we see enough, Doc. Uh, we'll let you know. Well, fine. I think you'll be very happy here. Shall we go out this way? Now, if you'll step outside, I'll turn off the lights. Hold it right there, folks. That's my husband. What the hell are you doing to him? We're police, lady. What are you doing here? Dad! Take it easy. Dave, what's the matter? 
Hi, Doc. We've been looking for you. We saw a light. We thought somebody else was here. Do you know these folks? Let him go, Al. Well, this, listen. This is Mr. and Mrs. Jessup. Dave, you ought to recognize Amy. She works, she works at Henry's. Listen, I had him just about convinced to move in here, but after this kind of a welcome, have you got something for me? It's about Markham. Can I talk to you inside for a well, minute? Well, sure, but... Excuse me, folks. Are you all right, son? Come on in here. Markham has no reason to hold a grudge against me. Since when does a nut reason? Remember, Doc, you testified at his trial. You were the only witness. Me and God. Yeah, well, God didn't testify. I haven't been back here since it happened. Seems like only yesterday. To me, it was yesterday. Come on, Dave, let's rejoin our friends. Thanks, Dave. I really appreciate you fellas checking the place out. Thank you very much. Remember, Doc, can't be too careful. Good night, folks. Good night. I think we need an explanation. Did the officer explain anything to you? We didn't converse. Doc, I can't say it hasn't been interesting. Come on, honey, let's go. Amy, I... Please, Miss, Mr. and Mrs. Jessup, I, I owe you an apology. Won't you please step in and let me explain something to you, please? It's up to you, Ralph. What do we have to lose? Thanks, folks. Come, come in. Something terrible happened here. What was that, Doc? I find it difficult to... Doc, it was you who brought it up. I know. Bear with me, but... Dear God, the, the memory is so vivid. A young mother walked through those doors with her two beautiful children. She was seeking sanctuary, a, a safe place from a jealous husband. I was in my office speaking over the phone with a member of the congregation. Doc, maybe we don't want to hear this after all. No, go on, Doc. Husband, what happened? The husband followed them in with an ax. I'll never forget that day, nor the sensational media coverage. That's how we lost our congregation, Ralph. The stain on the floor is still there. Why were the cops here tonight? Dan Markham, the husband, has been locked away in a mental hospital. Earlier this evening, he escaped. I couldn't expect my children or Ralph to live in a place like this. I understand, but it, it would be a pity because people have found salvation here, worshipped here. Jesus, Doc, you just said a family had been slaughtered here. The dead cannot harm you. Honey, I think the concern is with Markham. Without someone to look after him, he, he won't survive. After 10 years in an asylum, He's probably a vegetable. Yeah. Well, Doc, it looks like we're back where we were when the cops showed up. Uh, Amy will let you know tomorrow. Why don't you go in? I'd like to sit out here for a while. I was proud of you tonight. Why say thank you or what? You want me to stay out here a while? Are you all right? You know, I'm getting tired of you asking that, and I wish you'd stop discussing us with strangers. Doc, he's all right. Oh, everybody is all right. But Ralph, huh? Honey, I didn't... We don't have to move. If this is what you want, we'll stay here. We'll move. 
Can't I just sit out here for a while and sort things out? Actually gonna live at church. What will my friends say? What friends? We'll only be there temporarily. Like a halfway house, huh? Stevie, you can be so dumb. I think that's a good way to look at it. A halfway house.
where you live here? Well, there's a bedroom in the basement, one on the main floor, and one up on the second floor. Huh. I'll probably be the only kid on the block that lives in a church. I'll probably be the only kid on the block, period. Dad, look at this. It's a pool or something. Stevie? 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 Stevie, you in here? Come on, Stevie, this place is filthy. Ta-da! Welcome to my world. What's down there? Small room. Can't be the closet. Yeah. Wonder what it was used for. Little people? Oh, it's hot in here. You know, it smells terrible. Why don't we go downstairs and see if we can't give your mom a hand? You okay, Dad? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. It's, uh... Look, if we don't get the hell out of here, I think I'm gonna be sick. I don't smell anything, Dad. What? You can't smell it? No, Dad. Just dust. What do you smell? It smells like burning flesh to me. If we don't get out of here, I'm going to be sick. You didn't smell it, huh? No, Dad. I don't think so. Don't say anything to your mom, OK? Buster. It's a baptisserie. Looks like a jacuzzi to me. How do you know what a jacuzzi looks like? You've never seen one. Yeah? Yeah. Well, Miss Know It All, I have a friend who has one and I've seen it. And it looks like this? So, what are they doing this thing, Dad? Oh, well, the preacher would, would dunk your head under the water and it would cleanse your soul. You're kidding. I kid you not. Do they do it to you, Dad? Nope. But I saw it happen once when I was a kid. Really? Yeah. But, uh, it's a big Baptist church. I was fighting to stay away. All of a sudden, someone pushed the pulpit to one side. And the floor of the stage opened up. There's a pool underneath. The preacher walked down into the water. Ten or twelve girls. All dressed in white, followed him in. One by one, they fell back into his arms, and he lowered them under. And they came up, smiling. And they had a look of purity on their faces. Gee, that's what Jeannie needs. Let's put some water in this thing so we can dunk her. I'm warning you, squirt. I've had just about enough of your snide remarks. Come on, make my day. Hey, knock it off the boat. Stevie, your teasing's getting out of hand. I don't want you fighting. So, you have anything to say, mister? Nope. But I'll think of something.
Feels good. It looks good, too, when you take care of it. I can't do anything with it. Well, sure you can. You'd be surprised at what you can do if you try hard enough. You don't think I do? <sighs> You're missing out on so much. You should be spending time with friends your own age. Yeah, sure. I should run marathons by day and dance all night. Only I wasn't nailed to the floor. Oh, honey, you're not. Now, you know the doctors say... I know what the doctors say. They're wrong. You don't need this. I do! No, you don't. Now, I want you to get up and walk to me. Do you not want me to walk at all? Come on, do it. I can't! You don't need this. Get up, right now. I can't. Do it for me, Jeannie. That's it. And do it for me. Just one step at a time. Come on, Jeannie. One step at a time. Do it! Just for me. Come on. That's it. That's it. Come on. That's it. Oh, Jeannie. Oh, honey. Oh, baby. I'm so, I'm so. Oh. I thought I saw you bringing something in. What is it this time? It's a snake skin. Where'd it come from? The snake crawled out of it. I think it's called a shed. A shed? Yeah, like shedding your skin. So it's not really skin. What's mom gonna say about this? You don't have to tell her. I'll give you this. Take it. I've got two of them. What would I want with this ugly thing? It's a candle. It says not recommended for use by children. See? It's Neo. I guess so. Only don't you light yours. You can start a fire or something. When are you going to stop treating me like a little kid? When I get about this tall. When I get that tall, you better watch out. How'd the interview go today? I'm not bending over for any snot-nosed kid. You know, they asked me to take a lie detector test. To be a short order cook? Maybe they thought I was going to walk away with the pork chops. I don't know. Mom, is this breakfast or what? Your Mr. Imagination. Pretend it's filet mignon and call it dinner. Just a matter of luck, Dad. You'll find a job. Yeah, Ralph. You could get lucky. You know, I wish... I wish you didn't have to work tonight. You know, why can't we live like normal people? Cut the bowl, Ralph. How would you know how normal people live anyway? So the real world is down at Henry's Bar and Grill, huh? Don't knock it, Ralph. I put the sausages on your plate. The rent may be free, but somebody's got to pay for the groceries. What the hell are you trying to do to me? What? What in the hell are you trying to do to me? My God, Ralph! I was just trying to carry on a conversation. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. 
all of the king's horses and all of the king's men cannot put Humpty Dumpty together again. Dad, do you remember when I was a little girl? Dad, I love you very much. I can't believe you guys watch this stuff night after night. Some of these shows are real neat. You mean neato, like the painting in your room? Yeah, like the painting in my room. Well, your father and sister should know better. Meaning what? They should flash a warning on the screen. This type of programming is addictive and could be dangerous to your health. Oh, Lonnie. No, I'll tell you how it works. First, your backside becomes paralyzed. Then it works its way up your back, dissolving your spinal column along the way until it reaches your brain. Yeah, Mom. I know what you mean. We saw that movie the other night. Oh, Stevie. You guys will probably still be up You're when I get home from hell. work. You're damn right I did. You would have made a tasty morsel for that critter. But that's one pleasure I'm reserving for yours truly. But you, you killed him! Ah, it wasn't man who killed the beast. It was the environment. Huh? Dumb, dumb. Listen to Stephen Jessup, TV critic. You liked it? I didn't say that. It was dark. That's what I said. I think Mom was right, too. My legs are. Is well, there anything I can do for you? Dad, she's faking. She wants you to feel sorry for her. Damn you, Steve. You don't know how I feel. I feel like a fat pig. Oi, goink. I want someone to scratch your back. Do I have to take this crap from this brat? All right, that's it, Stevie. Get the sack, not your sister. She started it. Up the stairs, mister. I don't know why I can't stay up with you guys. You're a baby, that's why. Shall we watch the news? It's probably the only thing on. Dad! He wants you to tuck him in. Don't tell me you need someone to tuck you in. I can't go to sleep. Well, how do you know? You just got into bed. Look, close your eyes and think of something nice. I don't know anything nice. <laughs> you know why I can't go to sleep, Dad? I'm not sure, son, why. There's a monster under my bed. Sometimes I think there's one under mine, too. I'm not joking, Dad. There is a monster under my bed. Look, Stevie, with thoughts like that, you'll never get to sleep. Please, Dad. Look under my bed. What kind of a monster do you think is under there, Stevie? I know what kind. It's a dragon. Sort of. With wings. A dragon with wings, huh? I don't think a dragon could get under here, Stevie. You know, your bed's too low. Man, there is something under here. Will it bite? Bring it out, Dad. Wow. You know, <laughs> this is fantastic. Where'd you get something like this? I traded for it. Oh, some of your posters? An old sign that was under the stairs in the basement. Oh, really? Well, it must have been a pretty nice sign. What did it say? It was broken. The Sanctified Church of the Rock. Sort of. There were a couple of pieces missing. Can I keep it? Well, sounds like a fair trade to me, champ. <laughs> now, you go to sleep. Dad? I love you. You too, son. Daddy's coming. <laughs> oh. 
Jeannie? Jeannie? Are you in here? See you tomorrow. in here. For Christ's sake! I thought you were asleep. Something woke me up. Who are you talking to? Did you, uh... Did you see anyone? No, Dad. Look, uh... Let's get some sleep, huh? Hospitality. What did you do without 
Is Dan okay? What are you doing down here? Can I sleep down here the rest of the night? You have your own room. Back upstairs, young man. It would serve you right if I let you stay here all night. Come on, let's get in bed. Leave me alone. Ralph, Stevie saw you like this. So? Do you want your son to think you're a nutcase? No. Come on.
baby. Show daddy how the jacuzzi works. <laughs> Stevie, show daddy how the jacuzzi works. <laughs> I know you're here. Your fight is with me. Not my family. Ralph, who are you talking to? No one. To myself. Would you like to take Stevie up to his room now? I hope you've learned your lesson, young man. We're going to redecorate that room of yours. Mom, my posters didn't put snakes in the pool. Did they, Dad? Can they crawl out? I'll, uh, board it up with some plywood. Better yet, uh, let me call this buddy of mine that was into snakes. It'll be daylight soon. Find out how the devil they got in there, get rid of them, and see that they don't come back. Okay, Buster. Up to bed. If Dad's not coming to bed for a while, maybe you'd like to have me stay down here with you? Perhaps we should invite your sister to join us? Okay, crawl in.
No, wait, I forget I said that. Jump in. I'm surprised Jeannie slept through the commotion. Well, somebody's got an awful weird sense of humor. These critters didn't get in here by themselves. They're not even indigenous to the area. my mother warned me about. I don't even know your name. My name's Peter. Ask your mom if you can go out with me this weekend. Ask my mom? You see, your mom works for my dad. See you later. Guess what, Mom? I just met your boss's son. Really? Peter? He came by? Jogging. I understand he's quite the lad. He's kind of cute. He asked me out. Oh? I told him he was a fast operator. What do you think, Mom? Should I go? Honey, I think it's wonderful you're being with people your own age. Thanks, Mom. Jeannie, don't let the fact that his dad is my boss... Oh, Mom. I probably don't have anything to wear. Well, you'll come up with something.
sweetheart. What happened? Someone is here, but I couldn't see who it was. Oh, it's okay, baby. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay now. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm washing my hands. What did you do to get them dirty? Being a smart ass again. Maybe I took a crap and couldn't find any toilet paper. Have you met Peter? Have I met Peter? Did I get my hands dirty? I'm speaking of Pete, the boy who's taking Jeannie to the movies. No, I haven't met Pete. Why? Well, I just wondered what you thought of him. Well, since I haven't met him, don't know him, I don't think anything of him. Do you have any objections to Jeannie going out with him? <laughs> Jeannie's old enough to make up her own mind. Isn't she? Well? Ralph, something's going on. I plan to find out what. You let me know what you discover. But you'll be the first. Well, what the hell is that supposed to mean? be over when you when the gooks get off my ass come on honey let me in let me help you you should have died in me alone. sometimes i think you did damn you damn you see you. I don't know. Are you under my bed? Do you want to play? I'm over here. Are you in the painting? 
Magneto! Wow! How'd you get in here? Are you a ghost? Mom and tell her, uh, tell her it's Stevie's sick and ask her to come home. Okay. Stevie, can you hear me? Are you in here, son? If you're in here, say something to me. Of you, Daddy. Who the hell is in here? What have you done to my son? Can you see anything in there? I called Mom. She's on her way. Dad, what are we going to do? Well, you go check outside. I'll, I'll search in here. I'll get you a light. in there. Thank you, honey. Okay. If you have my son, let him go. That's me you want. I am sorry for the harm I've done you. Don't you make my family suffer, you son of a bitch! Ralph, do you have Stevie in here? What in God's name are you up to? I... I don't know. Well, somebody sure as hell better know. It's your job to take care of these kids when I'm at work. Stevie? Stevie, are you in here? Mom, it's the hospital. They have Stevie. Yes, this is Mrs. Jessup. Is my son all right? Thank God. I'll be right down. Look, where is he? Memorial General. Some babysitter's you are. He was found along the side of the road. He's been hit by a car. Oh, my God. I'm going after him. Are you coming? Yeah. Amy. Amy, I'm sorry. Do I have time to change? Call Pete and have him bring you down. All right, Ralph?
Hello? Who is this? What about my brother? Hello? Listen, weirdo. Pete? No, I wasn't calling you a weirdo. I just had one on the phone. Just now, before you called. Help me. Please. Pete, I, I think my folks are home. I'll call you back and let you know. Bye. You guys home already? Help me, please. Stevie? Stevie, is that you? Mom? Dad? <laughs> Stevie, I know you're in here. Where's Mom and Dad?
Honey, what happened? Dad, it was awful. Thank God, if some creep has touched you, I'll kill him. Or was it Pete? No, Dad, over there, it's Markham. Markham? How do you know it was Markham? Dad, I know what Markham looks like. His face has been on TV for weeks. Why, uh, why is your brace off? I don't know. He chased me. He had an axe. He wanted to kill me. I took it off and I threw it at him. God, Dad, are you going to help me? Are you saying you were attacked by that monster who murdered his family? Ralph, we need help. I'm going to call the police. No. No cops. What the hell do you mean, no cops? That man is a murderer. I'm the one they put behind bars. Your family is being threatened, and you don't understand, do you? Dan Markham is dead. Dead? They've been searching for him for weeks. Why would they search for him if he's dead? The night we looked at this place, Driving down here, he stepped in front of the car. He pleaded with me to take him to his wife and family. He died in the back of the station wagon. I buried him behind Dad's place. Dad, let Mom call the cops. Stevie, your dad couldn't stand being locked up in a cage again. Ralph. I don't know who you hit, and I don't know who you think you buried. But this I do know. Dead men don't chase young girls. Please, just give me a few minutes. Take the kids and stay in the car. If there's somebody in here, I'll get him. Please, let me get him. Ralph, I don't know how much more of this crap I can take. Damn it, Amy! Lock yourself in the car and lock the doors to the building behind you. by a car. I wasn't. I fell off the roof. Dad looked all over for you. How'd you get on the roof? Something sucked me up through the window. Are you making this up? I don't want to talk about it. I only have one shoe. Thanks. <laughs> you found your family. Now, why in the hell don't you split? It's not that easy. We live here, too. Just look on us as bad neighbors. No. You know, getting me is one thing. Screwing around my family is another. <laughs> Welcome to my world, Ralph. I'm gonna kill you, Markham. My, my. Don't we have a short memory? You already have, Ralph. <laughs> well, well, if you're dead, then how is it that you're here? Well, that's for you to figure out. <laughs> I thought I told you to stay in the car. You gotta come quick. Mom's leaving. Leaving? Come on, Dad. <laughs> Look, there's uh, no reason to leave. He's not here now. If you think I'm going to keep my kids in this place one night more, you know criminals return to the scene of the crime. Look, I know, but it's not him. It's his ghost or something, and he's come back to join his family. Ralph. Look, believe me, Amy, he's dead. What do I have to do? Dig him up to prove it to you or something? We are leaving. You can come if you want, or you can stay here. Well, I can't run, Amy. I've got to fight. Whatever it is. Fine, Ralph. You fight your ghost. I suppose it's better than being a couch potato the rest of your life. Or do you plan on doing battle with him in front of the television set? 
Jeannie, I'd like you to grab a few clothes. We'll send someone else tomorrow to pick up the rest. Mom, I'm not going. I'm not leaving Dad alone. He needs help. Look, young lady, I haven't been able to help him, and it sure as hell isn't your job to try. Mom, I'm staying. He's my dad. Church has finally reached you. Reverend Ralph, I presume. No, I know who you are. I figured it out. Really? Well, what's the answer, Ralph? Who am I? You're... You're the evil. That's the best you can come up with? The evil? I didn't recognize you at first. But you've been chasing me since I was a kid. Turning my dreams into nightmares. There wasn't a night you weren't there with me, and I am. But I never knew why. Why? Why you were after me? Well, forgive me for saying so, but I think I've missed something. Am I your excuse? The reason you're such a screw-up? Poor, poor Ralph. Don't you pity me? You're my salvation. Ruining the world of you will be the one decent thing I've ever done. Redneck Ralph. <laughs> Laugh, you bastard. for good. I don't hope so. Did you recognize him? What do you mean? The room. Was it the person that chased you? Dad, I didn't see anyone. Just you and me. Jeannie. Jeannie. I'm a Christian mother and now you. Got to dig him up. Dig him up and make sure that his body's in the grave. No, Dad. Look, you go put some clothes on. You're coming with me. Mom took the car. We'll have to wait until tomorrow. Look, you can't dig up bodies in broad daylight. We'll get there. Now go put on your brace. I don't need it anymore. I'll just get dressed. Pete, 
Thank God you're there. I need your help. Mom? She's there? Jimmy, let's move it! Uh, Pete, Dad and I are going to Grandpa's place. Tell Mom that if... She, uh, we'll be in the back of the woods in the back of the house. Gotta go. Bye. This time you won't! Until morning, Mr. Jessup. What did you do? Hit a water line or something? Ugh. 
You saw him, didn't you? It's gonna be okay. Has he gone, Ralph? I think so. I wanna go home, huh? It's all right, honey. We have to wash some of this muck off your dad before he goes anyplace. Are we going back to the church, Mom? Only on Sundays, honey. Only on Sundays. Mom! Is anybody there? <laughs> Shoot out the lights and lock the door 